Good evening, Hepper Spinners. Today we're going to be talking about how to make your controllers never reassign, so get ready. Alright guys, I wanted to show you the issue that I was running into first, and what we're essentially looking at here is the setup uh, with a new main, and you can see that my light guns, uh, you know, player 1 is set to gun 4, while my player 2 is set to gun 2, and, you know, which is great, this is fine, uh, as long as, you know, Windows doesn't reassign the ID to the controllers. So. Uh, you know, there was a chance, well, there was a time uh, a couple days ago where all of a sudden my light guns weren't working and, you know, I first immediately checked the uh, setup here and everything looked to be the same. If you guys haven't already done so, what you'll want to do is you'll want to make sure that your, uh, your INI files and configure files are all set to read only. Um, you know, to make sure that those, uh, you know, setups never change. So what you'll find is under main and then the configure uh, folder here, you always have that default set to read only when you right click properties. And when you go to your INI uh, folder, you're gonna go down to main and you're gonna make sure that that is also set to default because essentially rocket launcher and main uh, have crazy ideas and they uh, try to reschedule your uh, controls. So that's what I thought originally was happening here because my light guns uh, were not responsive uh, in name, but they were responsive on uh, Windows. So that issue was driving me certainly uh, nuts here. Um, so I, I, I did some research, um, uh, you know, online. There were a number of videos and a, no uh, yeah, a number of forums talking about this issue. Um, you know, there, there was uh, an idea around stabilizing your ports. Uh, so if you create a control file or folder, uh, CTRLR, uh, um, you essentially have, uh, you know, a way to, here, I'll just open this up. Uh, I mean, you'll, you'll find uh, a number of sources that talk about this, where, you know, you've got your uh, assignment of your, uh, your controls so you know I, I was like all right so let me uh, kind of follow along here and uh, you know on these videos and uh, assign like the gun code to to my ID the controller has an ID assigned to it um, but this ultimately did not work um, I, I think ultimately the intentions are good because this is all related to main and the um, you know IDs um, you know, never change to your controller, um, specifically to the hardware. So I was still having an issue here, and I, I you know, I couldn't put my finger on this until I, I realized that right now we're all always dealing with what's in MAME. But MAME isn't really the problem. That's, well, it might be half the problem. But uh, what the ultimate issue is, whenever you plug in anything into your PC, it assigns uh, the order of your uh, USB uh, controls. So if you ever unplug anything, um, or if it ever loses power or anything uh, at, uh, at any time, then that controller will essentially go to the bottom of your list of controls. Uh, so that is ultimately the issue. So I'm gonna show you how to uh, solve this issue. Um, I, I really think this isn't out on the internet uh, uh, you know, this workaround that I was just showing you here with the control uh, folder is, um, you know, but that just stabilizes your, uh, you know, your ID, you know, up against the uh, specific gun number. Um, ultimately, I don't think this is actually even necessary if your, uh, your PC recognizes the order in which your uh, controls should show up. So... You know, that, that, 
I mean, in my opinion, that's that's the absolute answer. All this other stuff is a workaround to the core issue, and I'm going to show you how to fix that core issue. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. The reason being is because Windows 10, well, basically Windows in general, what it does is it assigns your controls uh, or controllers a specific uh, ID number. And if you ever unplug that controller or if it ever loses power, then when it reconnects that uh, controller, it will essentially reassign uh, those IDs. So uh, this doesn't always happen when um, you know you always have those controllers plugged in. Uh, so it's it's weird that I've just now noticed it. Uh, you know, for one, I always have my Amtrak controllers plugged in, so I've never had this issue before. And um, you know, I've read that it depends on the power as well. If there's not a steady stream of power always on, uh, which totally uh, would make sense from my perspective, because I've added a couple things to my cabinet and I've got a uh, uh, a smart switch. So you know, these devices are uh, eating more power up. So um, you know, I've turned that gauge up, and uh, you know, that should be uh, feeding the power to these uh, devices. But uh, you know, this ultimately got me really researching because there's got to be a way to figure this out, and I think I've done it. Um, you know, I, I'm going to give all credits uh, to the Hyperspin, uh, of course it's Hyperspin, right? Uh, the owner here, uh, Tyrannus here. I've seen him make a couple apps here, and he does a really good job, but I've never had to use this controller order up until now. But now that uh, I've experienced the issue, I totally get why I've seen some of the things on the forums and you know to be honest you know this only has 199 uh, downloads uh, this this can't be right guys uh, and you know I'm in no way affiliated with uh, Tyrannus here uh, but like this should be like a required app if you are using light guns or uh, controls uh, you know within main because each time that this happens you don't really know that it's happening. All you know is when you're in main, you, you're you basically saying, you know, these controls aren't working. So that could be to blame why some people think the aim track guns don't work. It's actually the main uh, system that is reassigning your stuff. Uh, well, sorry, it's it's two things. MAME can reassign your ports. And uh, the other thing is, is Windows can reassign your controllers. So. Uh, what I was having to do here is my aim track gun uh, device 2 is set to gun 2 and my uh, device 1 aim track gun is set to gun 4. So that's what my setup was uh, designed to do in main and then for whatever reason these guns were uh, reassigned. So number 2 was like you know gun 1 and then uh, number 1 here was like gun 3. Uh, I had no idea what was going on, so uh, I did a little research, and here is how to fix this issue, guys. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, you're going to go to Hyperspin FE download section. You're going to go to the uh, True Game uh, Controller Order 1.5, and you're going to download that. And what you're going to do is you are going to unzip this into a folder that uh, has your tools. So I've got tools here, and you're going to see a couple files here. So the, what's interesting is, um, you know, each one of these controllers have an ID to it. So if you click on this list controllers, it's going to give you a notification of like what we're doing here. But you can see here the foreplay. So uh, I've got a bliss box and each one of these ports, um, you know, are assigned a uh, number here. So the PID OD06, uh, that's the uh, specific ID assigned to this port. So uh, Windows, when you reboot, basically this port could be reassigned to something else, uh, which is the ultimate problem to all of this. Uh, so this app actually solves this issue. So I'm trying to uh, shed some light here that, you know, what uh, Trainus has done is absolutely amazing. And thank you. I'm sure there's other ways around this, but I haven't found anything on the net. And this has been a reoccurring problem since at least 2010 that I've seen on a number of forums. So, I don't know, maybe the secret's not out yet, maybe it's just well hidden in hyperspin, but this has to, this has to be out here, guys. 
So, uh, you know, as you go through here, the found controllers, this is just get, getting a list of all of your IDs. So this is, so Blissbox, if you're not aware, there's four ports on that uh, device. And this is just basically saying, here's the IDs for each one of these uh, controllers. So this is my light gun here, uh, the 1602 and the 1601. Uh, you can also find the uh, IDs uh, under control panel. If you go to the games and devices, and we'll just kind of do this real quick. You go to hardware and sound, view devices, and then you see all of the uh, devices here. If you just right click any of these and you click uh, properties or game control settings, uh, you're going to find some information and I'm just going to go to properties. I think it's under maybe events. Uh, so yeah, you can see the uh, ID is also there as well. But that app is pretty much dummy proof. You know, it gives you everything that you need sort of thing. And what we need to do is we're going to auto start this uh, true game controller order XE whenever we launch our PC. And I'm going to show you how to do that under the task scheduler. But all that needs to uh, happen is, you know, you'll we'll double click that. And the reason why we've got to put this in task scheduler is because of this uh, precise reason. The user account of, uh, control, UAC, basically you don't want to have to push yes. Um, oh yeah, I've already got it running because it's auto started. It's fine. Um, but yeah, we're trying to get around that UAC problem. And if we put this on a task scheduler, I can show you how to uh, do that. Um, and that's all there is to it. And you don't want to launch this like with hyperspin sort of thing because you don't want all that noise and you know business happening while your games are starting to come up. So we don't need this in our startup script. We just need the PC to auto start. So we've got a readme text file here. He did a fabulous job documenting everything that you need to know there. Um, but long story short, all you need to do is get the list of controls, which we've already opened and you you know, can copy and paste those uh, IDs in the settings I and I. And what we're ultimately going to do is, since I have uh, my light guns, my player one is set to um, port four. So gun four is what it shows up in the main. So I put the ID of my light gun one, my blue gun here, and within main, when I set up my light gun controls, player two was set to gun two. So the, remember the gun number is assigned based on what Windows 10 decided to do. And that number can be reset. So that's our problem here. So to fix that, we're gonna put the uh, light gun uh, ID two, which we found from list controllers XE. We're gonna slap that in there uh, as port two. So this is always going to be port 2, a.k.a. gun 2, and this is always going to be uh, gun 1, which was, uh, or sorry, light gun 1, which is uh, assigned gun 4 within main. I hope that makes sense. I'll, I'll show you. I'll fire up uh, uh, main here in a second. And then all these other ports. So port 1 uh, is bliss box, and... Blissbox has four controls, uh, so four ports. So we've got one, two, three, and four. And these will never uh, never move around, guys. So once you launch this app, it's just going to keep everything in order forever, which is amazing. Um, the other thing here is this daemon mode equals true. Uh, by default, it's set to false, but I like it set to true because what it'll do is it'll scan the controls every 10 seconds. Um, you know, there's nothing that, you know, you, as you can see, there's nothing actually happening in the front end. Uh, it's all happening behind the scenes. And this is useful because I've got Blissbox and at any given time I could swap out a controller and I need it to make sure that it, it reads it and it sticks it to the correct port. Uh, we, we don't want ports floating around here. Um, so this is uh, no hardware's fault other than, the, uh, you know, the software Microsoft, so thank you Microsoft, <laughs> and we have found a workaround yet again. So uh, yeah, so we're going to close out the settings I and I, and that's all there is to it, guys. So uh, all you know, credits go to uh, Tyrannus, and uh, 
That, that's amazing. So these other uh, dev exe files, this is in case you want to run the uh, command prompt and uh, you know check your controls that way manually, but you don't need to. Um, you know the README uh, you know walks you through it all, but ultimately you're just going to open up this list exe file and then you're going to slap those results into the settings ini uh, uh, file here. If you uh, you know don't open up this list controller exe for the first time, what you can do is just click on this order exe and it will walk you through it uh, basically you'll just push ok a couple times until it you know reads your devices so there's absolutely no setup whatsoever outside of uh you know adding new ports and you know you just add a new number to like if i wanted a, another number where i wanted you know maybe a an xbox controller i would say port 7 and equals and then i would you know just get that uh uh, ID from the list controller. So once that controller is plugged in, you would see that. But if you have Joy2Key uh, set up, uh, any stretch, um, then you don't need to actually set up anything when it comes to the Xbox controllers because um, Joy2Key essentially, uh, uh, you know, works around all of this issue. So, phew, what a mess, guys. So that is that. And let's look into the... Uh, scheduler here so what we're going to do is go to uh, task scheduler and you're going to open that up and we're going to get that uh, that application to avoid uac and uh, get this auto start so this is what you're going to look uh, at when you click task scheduler you're going to uh, basically click the uh, task scheduler library and then you're going to right click and you're going to say new folder so once you uh, select a new folder, you'll have an option and you'll type in what I did was reassign controllers. So you'll go and type that in and push OK. And then you'll find a new folder here. You're going to click that. And then in this white space in the pane, you're going to right click and hit create a new task. And you're going to be invited to this. I'm going to go ahead and open up the one that I've set up so you can see everything. Uh, I put the uh, reassign controllers as the name. Put in the description of what I'm trying to accomplish essentially the light gun uh, ID one is my blue controller and that needs to be gun four so that's my port four and uh, ID two is red and that needs to be gun two so what you're going to want to do is you're going to run with the highest privileges so when it auto when your PC starts it's just going to run behind the scenes you'll see a couple notifications uh, very quickly off to the bottom right if you have notifications set to on and it's going to say that it's found all of your uh, devices and then uh, you're going to want to configure this for Windows 10. If you've got Windows 7 you just select Windows 7 and we're going to go to triggers you're going to hit new and you are going to uh, basically select at the top at startup and that's all you've got to uh, select. We're going to move on to actions what you're going to do is hit new and you're going to say action is start a program. You're going to find that true controller order XE program that uh, we were talking about. You're going to hit OK. Conditions, uh, if you've got a laptop, you know, you're going to want to uh, have these set up. I've got a PC. This is all by default, so there's nothing to change there. And same thing goes here. Uh, this is all set up by default. And that's it. So you have a task that will uh, run that program uh, to reassign your controls at the time of startup with no notification whatsoever other than the USBs connecting at the very start of your uh, PC startup and there you go so believe it or not that is as simple as that I will never have the issue of my controls reassigning which for the longest time I thought MAME was uh, you know was fine but that was the actual uh, part of the culprit or maybe the smoking gun if you will so thank you Microsoft for uh, reassigning our controls when we don't want them to and uh, yeah so I hope this helps you guys and we will catch you next time